How did I pass my P civil structural exam? Hey guys, I am Sepe Shakiri and I want to provide some information about how did I pass my civil uh, P structural exam. And I hope that at the end of the video, you will find this information helpful to passing your P exam. Before we moving forward, I just want to quick uh, give you a quick background about myself. I have my master's degree in structural engineering from California State University, San Francisco. And at the time of the test, I had about plus four years of experience in engineering design field as a structural engineer. I should also mention that the, the following information is just based on my ex personal experience and passing the exam just based on this information is not guaranteed. And this is not the advertisement for any educational institution and so on. So recently the format of the exam has been changed, which uh, caused a lot of problem for myself to understand what's going on and how should I study for the new format of the test. So before we move forward, I just want to give some quick background about the old format of the test and new format of the test. In the old format of the test, we have the brief portion that include different civil engineering topics like geotechnical engineering, transportation engineering, or hydraulic structure engineering. And we had a depth portion that focused on the structural engineering topic. And of course, I'm talking about the P civil uh, a structural exam, uh, not the other disciplines. But there is no more brief portion in new format of the test anymore. And we have a morning session and afternoon session and both section mostly focus on the structural engineering topics. But uh, still there are, are different topics uh, that are not uh, solely a structural like the soil classification and some other geotechnical uh, information. But how is the P exam test and what do you expect at the day, uh, at the day of your exam? So the exam, the new exam is consists of two different sections. We have a morning section, which is around 40 questions. Then you have 15 minutes of breaks, and then you will start your afternoon section, which is around 40 questions again. The 40 question is just the average. It can be 38, 42, or 39, 41, or 40, 40, but uh, the average is 40, 40 for each section. You have around eight hours for the exam, which means that you have about six minutes to answer each question. My reference study uh, to prepare for the exam is consists of three main difference. The first one, which is what my, uh, which was my first reference, was civil P structural and demand course from AI. I also I studied the brief portion handbook of the ET, which is prepared for the previous format of the exam for the previous brief portion of the exam. And one of them is most important one is the civil structural practice exam, but NCEES which is the official reference for the exam. Here you can see the different section of the, or different categorized section of the exam that the exam question can be from there. For the first part, which is analysis of the structure loads and loads application and analysis of well, section two, which is analysis of the structure force and loads effect. I mainly focus on the AEI civil P structural on demand to be prepared for the exam. I should also mention that try to become familiar with the codes uh, like ASC 760. You should know that the, you should be familiar with the code and exactly know where to go to find the uh, answer of your question, although the codes are searchable. For part three, which is temporary structure and other topics and for the part 3A, a spatial inspection, I try to become familiar with the codes like IBC, AAC, ACI, and that should be sufficient for the exam. For the submittal, there is not really anything that you can study, and it's just based on your experience, and there should not be that much question if it's come just maybe one question or more. 
for the part C, which is the form work, false work, and etc., I study the EET handbook, which is prepared for the brief portion of the previous format of the exam. And for the impact of construction on adjacent facility, I study them from EET and a School of P online references. For the School of P online references, I mean that if you search it on the Google Impact of Construction on Adjacent Facility, you will find the website of the School IP that provides some free information that's free for everyone. And for the part E, which is safety, I try to look on the references that is uh, provided by NCEES, and also I studied from the EET and AEI. For the part four, which is design and details of structures, materials, and material properties, and part five, design and detail of a structure component, design and detailing, I mainly focus on the AEI to be prepared for the exam. Just for the part 4A, which is the soil classification and soil properties, I believe that AEET is the better reference to look for it and study that portion from that. It will be enough for the exam. Finally, I have some final tips for you uh, for taking the exam and how to prepare for the exam. Uh, the new format of the exam is more conceptual compared to the previous one. In the previous uh, concept of the uh, in the previous format of the exam, you mainly just need to find the proper equation or proper code section and just input the value and get the result, and that will be the result of the that will be the answer of the question. But the new format of the exam is more conceptual. You need to understand what is the question and what is this looking for? So for that, I say that while you are preparing for your exam and you are studying each question, try to understand the logic of the question that you solve and just not for the how to answer and how to get the result. You need to understand why they choose that, well, that approach or why they choose that section of the codes. And in the different uh, question, there's a possibility that different section of the code need to be reviewed. And these are two, my two topic, uh, two, uh, my two main tips for during the exam is that the point of each question are similar. So avoid sprinting too much on the hard question because it's useless. And you may see some question that you have no idea about that, and this is completely okay. But flag them and leave them, do not switch much time to them, and come back to them later. And finally, even for the question that you have no idea, do not leave them empty and just uh, randomly choose something because uh, there is no negative point for the exam, so you, not, you do not need to empty any questions. Thank you uh, for listening to this, and I hope that you find the, all of this information helpful. Please let me know if you have any question and if you need any more information and I in the comments, and I will back to you as soon as possible.